If you're trying to install Windows on your PC, but you end up at this screen where it says you can't do it because you're not connected on Ethernet and you also don't have a Wi-Fi connection available, then I'll show you a quick and easy solution to this. First of all, obviously you need to download the relevant Wi-Fi drivers for your specific motherboard. So head over to the motherboard website and download them on your phone. Doing it on your phone will make life a lot easier. So if you head over to the support section and then grab the Wi-Fi drivers and download them. Now they come as a zip file most of the time. So what you'll need to do is open them with files by Google. This is why an Android device is perfect for this because you can then extract the EXE file that you're going to need and click finish. Then what you want to do is plug a USB-C cable into one end and the USB-A into the port on your motherboard and then head over to the settings section on your phone. Under the settings section, search for USB preferences. And under the preferences, what you want to do is set it to file transfer mode, which you can see here, and then go through that step and it's ready to go. Back at your PC, hit Shift and F10, and that will open up the command prompt window. And then what you want to do is make sure you've clicked onto the command prompt window with your mouse, so it's definitely in there, and then type Explorer into there and hit Enter. What this will do is it will launch Windows Explorer and then you can basically browse for files in there. So click on this PC and then click on your phone, internal storage and then download and then just look for the file that we just extracted. So in this case is dchsetup.exe and what we're going to do is run that. Now you have to wait for that to run and once that's done just close Explorer down and get rid of the command prompt window and then you should find that now you can install with the Wi-Fi setup. So you just basically put your Wi-Fi password into that and then carry on with the Windows installation and you should find that it's all running smoothly now.